Hello, Susanna. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> okay, let's move to the basic topics. Uh, let us introduce first. Uh, we have Kamil Sobolewski, Chief Economist of the Largest Employers of Poland Organization. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Daniel Krajewski, a solicitor, managing partner in one of the uh, famous law firm, an expert in MAS and capital markets. And myself, uh, Krzysztof Łuczak, CEO of Cloud Services Software House, a company connected with Blue Media, a payment operator. Mm -hmm. So this is our team. Let's start mm -hmm. from your presentation. Don't afraid. <laughs> Be open. <laughs> we are people. Okay, I have a presentation on PowerPoint. Can I uh, share the screen? Sure. Okay. Off we go. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, so, hello everybody again. I am Zuzanna Pavlik and I am a third year in uh, the Strumienia Yusefu, uh, Yusefu, Strumienia High School in Yusefu. Uh, and I'm sure that all of us at some point have been tasked to share a few interesting things about yourself, which is make a self-introduction. And uh, I'm very sure that that is also the time when we are all desperately looking for something interesting to say. Um, but also at the same time adequate to the people you are presenting to. Uh, so what I would like to say is that I also feel like that sometimes. And uh, so that's why I'm having a presentation right now, that, uh, just to help me. Okay, uh, let's begin. I was born in China in 2006 uh, in Beijing. Um, and later I also grew up in China. Uh, I went to primary school, almost all the classes in China, and I finished an HSK4 certificate, which means that I can study in the University of China if I wanted to. Uh, apart from that, many people always told me that I was a very creative person. And uh, even when I was eight, I made many storylines for many books, movies, um, magazines, and even games. Uh, today, I am a multitasker, basically a multitasker. And my main focus this year is game design. Uh, in addition to school, of course. I've been practicing, I've been learning Python for more than three years right now, mm -hmm, right now. And um, however, I still prefer working with Unity because it's just more handy than Python. It's easier to use. Um, I am also in the meantime working on an app which would help students who struggle with mathematics get a better grasp of the subject. Uh, and hopefully maybe it will help those students enjoy the subject or find it more enjoyable. I think it is also complementary to my other activity, which is teaching uh, students with learning disabilities, such as um, Asperger's or autism. And, and yeah, so as you can see, I am a person who just loves solving problems and someone who wants to help others solve problems. So, and I also believe that many of these problems can be solved with the help of technology. And that is also one of the reasons why I really like hackathons. <laughs> and uh, I would like to share with you that I participated in one of the biggest hackathons in the entirety of Europe, which is Hackia, as you can see. Uh, this is a screen from, the, from, from their uh, website. Next year, uh, this year will be the next part. I participated last year and it was marvelous. Um, basically, uh, it's, it's very similar to the scholarship. You are tasked, you have to, you have a task, a very difficult task, and you have to find a way to um, overcome this problem with a very short amount of time. Just like with this scholarship, I had a small amount of time to come up with a good self-introduction. <laughs> um, and yeah, so there are a lot of reasons why I also want to win this scholarship. I would like to contribute to my uh, community both in a short term and in a long term perspective. So uh, ah, this is me on the hackathon, by the way, I'm at the back and this is my team. And this was our project. Uh, and yeah, why Silicon Valley? In the short term perspective, I would in the coming months, I would uh, the trip would help me develop new ideas for games for um, to find new communities and maybe even pitch them to those founders and entrepreneurs in Google and LinkedIn, and maybe uh, and yeah, and all those investors in Silicon Valley. On a long-term perspective, I think maybe about 10, 15 years from now, uh, it would help me create maybe a Silicon Valley 
in Poland. <laughs> yes, that is my dream. I want to create a Silicon Valley in Poland. I want to make Poland the uh, center of technology, at least in Europe. Uh, because Poland just has so many different talented people and Polish technical universities are great. And I think that those people, they just like a community and uh, they have to be more open minded and think on a more global scale, just like in Silicon Valley. That's why I would like to just see how it looks like in Silicon Valley. And yeah, uh, yeah, I just want to meet all those world class entrepreneurs and professionals just to also see how they work, uh, how they think and yeah, how just how simply how they became such successful people that they are right now. I also want to acquire more skills in the future that would be um, useful in my professional career. That's why I want to study economics and business. So I am taking maths, geography, uh, Spanish, English, and next year also physics on an advanced level. And in the meantime, I am also practicing for my Cambridge proficiency exam. And uh, yeah, that's why I also want to deeply visit Google and LinkedIn just to see their innovation culture and their unique working working environment and atmosphere. Uh, so yeah, to make a long story short, this uh, scholarship will be a great pathway to shape my my future career, my future skills. And I am often a very busy and restless person, but uh, I'm quite sure that it will definitely be worth it in the end. Uh, I very appreciate this opportunity to be with you and to talk to you. and. Um, it is an honor to be chosen among all these uh, wonderful people who are just very highly motivated, talented and hardworking. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Susanna. Uh, mm -hmm. So maybe let me ask uh, the first question. Uh, mm -hmm. You wrote that uh, uh, you uh, were designing games. Mm -hmm. uh, how, how does it look like? I mean, uh, do you... Uh, uh, do you design scenarios? Uh, do you program? Uh, do you develop? How does it look like? I do everything, basically. I do everything from scratch. Um, you can say that I'm an indie game designer, an aspiring indie game designer. Um, and yeah, I just think of an idea. I shape it, I craft it, I write it down on paper, and uh, I open up Unity and just make it. And when it's made, I, I'm planning to release it. Okay. In, in what language do you program the games? Unity. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, Camille, uh, your turn, please uh, ask the question. Uh, thank you, Krzysztof. I was very impressed by your assault and the words about hardship when being young, that doesn't help create a great person, but kills uh, motivation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, after uh, only today I discovered you were in China, mm -hmm. I now better understand how uh, major your uh, uh, conclusions on that might be. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me about uh, your experience with uh, Chinese school. What did it teach you? Okay, so th Chinese school taught me a lot that uh, hard work leads to success that only thanks to a lot of hard work, you can achieve what you really dream of. Um, and yeah, so uh, so yes, I guess I, that is the main thing that I took from these Chinese schools that I brought here to Poland, that, that I apply to my life every day and every moment of my life. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Daniel, uh, please ask a question. Yeah, I, I would like to ask about uh, your connections with China. Uh, actually, uh, uh, it's similar uh, question like uh, Carmel provided uh, uh, before. Uh, and uh, do you think any um, connect, uh, any profits uh, uh, taking into account the fact that you've uh, been living uh, in China uh, for many years and right now you are living in Poland and. Uh, how do you feel uh, you can connect these two different uh, words uh, all together and uh, you can bring them all together and uh, add something uh, to, to create so something new in Poland, maybe? So how do I feel like my experience in China will help me in Poland? That, is that uh, actually, um, will help you in Poland and maybe uh, 
can you use any connections from China uh, to develop something or create something in Poland that uh, we do not have uh, right now yet uh, in Poland and something that exists in China? Uh, maybe you can transfer here to Poland. Do you think? Do you find anything like that? Uh, uh, what, what we can what we can teach from China? What we can learn from China? Actually, uh, based on your experience and. So from the Chinese, definitely this hard work that I talked about earlier. Earlier, uh, And when it comes to inventions, definitely this infamous uh, speed train, magnet train. I don't know if you heard about it. It's the train that's just the quickest train probably in, in, uh, on Earth. And, uh, and it's the magnet train. You use the magnet and the train just <laughs> goes quickly with the help of the magnet. So maybe I could bring this to Poland and help um, and establish something like this in Poland. It's quite ambitious, but I'm, I'm sure that it could be, it is possible, it is possible, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank okay. you. Yeah, thank you. Sorry, guys, <laughs> <laughs> I'm facilitating, so trying to keep time. And, uh, okay, so uh, let's go to the feed to, to, to feedback, yes. Um, uh, Daniel, maybe you will continue, yes, with the feedback. Yeah, actually, I really like your presentation and um, I was uh, inspired that by the fact that uh, you've been living in two different worlds and uh, how you are trying to connect uh, your experience from um, from China here in Poland. So uh, keep going uh, and hard work. Uh, uh, and I th uh, I think that this hard work uh, will benefit for, for you uh, in the future. So keep going. Mm -hmm. Camille? Mm -hmm. Uh, Susia, I'm very impressed by how you overcome your barriers, your obstacles, that you can change uh, your weaknesses into your strength. And the hard work uh, story is uh, really something that you personally incorporate. So congratulations on this. I saw you were very nervous at the very beginning of your presentation. Mm. And then the self-confidence that you were writing about came back. So. Uh, you are you are very uh, uh, good at this presentation. Don't be worried to don't be worried to uh, to tell more about your successes because when you are when you when if it weren't for the for the programming skills being mentioned here and about the question uh, in what language with uh, the answer unity we would probably. Uh, not be able to assess how talented you are. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so the last word from my side. You are a fantastic person. Uh, you know what uh, you wrote in the essay in motivation letter and what you showed us here at the presentation was really, really, really amazing. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, very good time management. Uh, <laughs> Only one small remark, if you are, let's say, looking at us. I, I know it's difficult, yes, because it's video. Mm -hmm. uh, so just, you know, keep eye uh, on the video, on the camera. It's better, <laughs> so then we can, you know, yes. <laughs> I know it's difficult. <laughs> but don't worry, that's a small remark. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, thank you very much for your presentation, for your time. In two weeks' time, we will um, give you uh, feedback um, with the scores. Okay, thank you very good much. Job. Good, good job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As I said, it is an honor. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>